I think from a character's perspective and me as Samantha's perspective, the scenes where I was laying in the bed, which I get them all confused with because that's like basically where I lived. Um, and, and there would be the moments where I'd hear a voice in the corner. <laughs> What do you want? Or the voice would be like this close to my face. Claire. Those were terrifying. It's time to open that door. Because in that moment, I know what's about to happen. I know that someone, you know, with my eyes closed, I know that there's someone about to come right near me, but your body still goes into that protective realm. And so every goosebump, you know, hair on my body stood up and it's like, I knew what was about to happen and we did it 10 times, but every single time your body is, is trying to warn you that there's something near you where it shouldn't be. <gasps> and it's such a visceral reaction that, that you kind of can't control it. I would say anything where my body really did feel that get me out of here as Samantha Valletta, like we need to go, those were the creepiest for sure. I didn't have the same kind of being creeped out feeling in the scenes, but I remember there was one where I think you were, was being shot in, like it was my reflection in the mirror. That was really cool. And just kind of a, the disconnection between Rebecca in the mirror and me as the person, Rebecca standing over here, and then Samantha, Claire on the bed. And that kind of shot of, of really what's real, what's not, you know? So that, I really liked that bit. And then being able to see the replay of it, I was like, whoa. Oh yeah, that's good. A mommy's love never 